Hello everyone and welcome to you all. Uh, today we will start with our next numerical on uh, analysis of non sway frame using stiffness matrix method. So, here we will we'll be conducting this numerical that is a frame A, B, C, D given to you. Okay? The loading in this frame that is UDL is provided on your span A, B and in span B, C and C, D a point load is provided at the center. Okay, so we'll try to solve this by using stiffness matrix method over there, right? So for analysis purpose, whatever analysis we are doing, uh, that is for beams, same analysis you have to perform for frames also, both in cases of non-sway frames and in cases of sway frames also. Just certain assumptions you have to do or certain uh, notes you have, I have given you yesterday in uh, last lecture that is note number 1, 2, 3 that notes you have to implement in this. Okay? So, we will be solving this numerical using stiffness matrix method over there. So, first step that is what we will be calculating the kinematic intermediacy of your frame. The classification of this frame we will see first. This frame will be a non-sway frame. Why? Because of the sway coefficient or the lateral loads reaction coming from H A and H D will be restricted by this horizontal reaction H C over there. So, this frame will be classified as your non-sway frame. So, it will be classified as your non-sway frame first okay? and then we will do the analysis. So, D k for your so, D k for this frame we will see at joint A and D those are your fixed support. So, D k at that point will be 0, B will be treated as your rigid joint and C it is given to your simple support or hinge support over there. So, here total D k will be equal to 2 and which will be those? Those will be your first theta B and second will be equal to theta C. So, both are the rotation I assume as my first theta B as D1 and second theta C as D2 means my first coordinate will be at point B and second coordinate will be at point C over there. So, first I will mark this two coefficients over there. So, first coefficient that is at your point B, okay, one rotation here and second again two rotation at your point C respectively. So, first is at your B and second is at your C point, right. Now, we will proceed to your second step that is the basic equation basic equation of stiffness matrix method is what? That is F is equal to ADL plus S into D. F is equal to ADL plus S into D where F is what? These are the corresponding forces given to you at your selected coordinate points order that is at point 1 and 2. So, we will see here for your first matrix that is F matrix two redundants we are having. So, we will be having F1 and F2 value in this is equal to values of those. Now, we will see whether any corresponding forces are given to you along these two selected redundant points. Are there any moments given at point B and point C that we will see? Okay. In previous lecture, I have told you that if rotation is there, you have to see corresponding moment is acting and if displacement uh, redundant is there, you have to see that your corresponding force is acting or not. But here both are the rotation and at both points B and C your no moment is given. So, here your F1 and F2 value both will remain again equal to 0. Okay? Now, second we have to calculate the ADL matrix over there. So, ADL matrix it is related to what? It is it is related with the applied loads given to you. So, we have to restrain this structure and we have to calculate the friction moments for this. So, first what I will do? I will restrain this complete structure over there. Restraining means what? We will fix all the joints. Okay? So, here I will separate my three members over here and I will restrain them. Okay? So, this is my first member AB. This will be my second member. B C and this is my third member that is B D over here. Okay? Now, along with this whatever loading is given to you that I will substitute over here. So, this U D L it is given to you of 40 kilo Newton per meter span A B is 4 meter here you are having point load of 80 kilo Newton at a distance 2 meter and 2 meter apart from B and C and this is again your 20 kilo Newton at a distance 
2 meter apart from B and point D over there. Right now you have to calculate the fixed moments. So selected at your first coordinate. So whatever this first coordinate AD L1 value will be at point B. That will be your summation of fixed moments of BA plus member BC, BD plus member BC over there. So you have to calculate the AD L1 at this joint B over there. That will be for member BA, for member BC, and third will be for member BD. So I'll mark those over here. Restoring moment signs I'll put here. So restoring moment sign. For this will be clockwise in nature, right? For he this BC that will be anti-clockwise in nature, and for BD that we'll see along this joint B, this 20 kilonewton force will be introducing a anti-clockwise moment. Its restoring moment will be in clockwise nature over there. So this will be your AD L1 that is for your member BA. This is your AD L1 that is for member BC, and this third one. That is your again AD L1, but that is for member BD over there, right? And next for AD L2, that will be at your second coordinate. So for second coordinate, only one member you are having. So we'll mark that also. So this will be restoring moment clockwise in nature, and that will be your AD L2, but that will be for member CB. So we'll calculate the fixed moment calculations first. So fixed moments here, right? So fixed moment will be having MF AB. Next MF BA, right? Next is your MF BC, MF CB, okay? Next is your MF BD, and last will be your MF DB here, right? So for first UDL is provided to you. So fixed moment will be your minus W L square by 12. For AB and plus W L square by 12 for BA over there. So if you substitute the values, that is 40 into 4 square divided by 12. I am getting this as minus 53.33 and this as plus 53.33. Okay. In same way for BC and CB span, a point load is provided at the center over there. So fixed moment value for that will be your minus W L by 8 and for CB that will be plus W L by 8. So substituting the value W equal to 80, length is your 4 divided by 8. I'm getting this as minus 40, and this I'm getting as plus 40 here. Okay. Next for BD and DB portion, again a point load is provided over here. So that will be again W L by 8 and W L by 8. But what will happen now? Now if you see the restoring moment for BD, that is MF BD, that will be clockwise in nature. We have seen over here. So here, your first moment, that is MF BD, will come positive, while as your MF DB will be coming here negative. After calculating W twenty, length is your four. So after calculation, I am getting this as plus ten, and this as minus ten over here, and all these moments are in kilonewton meter. So these are my final fixed moments. What I am getting? Okay. So from this, I'll calculate first AD L one value. So AD L one will be your Summation of all the fixed moments coming at your joint B, so that will be our for MF BA plus MF BC plus MF BD. Okay, up to now only for two members we have seen. Here we are having three members at a particular joint. So here your three values will be seen over there. Okay, so we'll substitute the values MF BA that you are having. 53.33 positive mf bc are having minus 40 and mf bd that is your plus 10 so after calculating this i have got ad l1 as 23.33 positive okay so ad l1 i am getting as 23.33 and next is your ad l2 value ad l2 value that will be for your Or just for CB member that we have marked over here, okay. So ADL2 will be your value of MF CB, and that is your equal to MF CB. I am getting equal to plus 40. Okay. So these two values I have got ADL1 and ADL2. ADL1 I am getting as 23.33, and ADL2 I am having as plus 40. Okay, so this will be my second matrix. That is F matrix is done, ADL matrix is done. Now we'll move for your stiffness matrix. That is S, right? 
so your third part will be stiffness matrix and that will be your s of 1 1 s 1 2 s 2 1 and s of 2 2 over here because why you are having only two redundants in your numerical so your this matrix will be in 2 by 2 format if you are having three redundants then your matrix will be of 3 by 3 format right so we'll start with this in roman 1 roman 1 what we do we apply apply unit displacement at coordinate 1 keeping keeping other coordinates fixed that is you have to apply the unit displacement at your first coordinate and you have to fix the second coordinate that is piece joint c over there so first coordinate is your d1 that you have marked as theta b so here what you have to do is the theta b or d1 is equal to 1 you have to apply here okay so cumulative diagram i will draw directly for this okay so this is my joint a which is already fixed one right this is my joint d which is also already fixed one c you have to fixed over there why because you are applying unit displacement at joint b okay so we will mark your stiffness coefficients again so stiffness coefficient at your first coordinate and stiffness coefficient at your second coordinate this stiffness coefficient you have to assume initially always in a clockwise direction at only the selected coordinate points over there okay so at first and second point i have marked this so this will be s of so this will be s of stiffness you are calculating at your first coordinate that is at point b when unit displacement is applied at itself at point b so that will come s of 1 1 same way this will get of s of you are calculating stiffness at point c that is at second coordinate when unit displacement is applied at your first coordinate so you will get that as s of 2 1 over there now this s of 1 1 this will be for cumulative of b a b d and bc members over there but s of 2 1 that will be only for member cd so likewise you have to calculate now we'll see the displacement patterns of this now if you see for this ba member this will be having clockwise s of 1 1 over there so that will be originating from the upward side okay so its displacement pattern for ba will be going on upward side over there showing this d1 or theta b is equal to 1 same way for bc again you are having clockwise portion over here right s of 1 1 that is originating from downward side so this will be going on the downward side which will again show this d1 is equal to 1 there and now for bd member it is originating from the left hand side part so this will be originating from the left hand side which will again show that as d1 is equal to 1 there so this will be our total stiffness matrix diagram okay how you have to do this just you have to mark those clockwise rotations for each member ba bc and bd and this side from which this moment is originating on that side your displacement pattern will be followed okay so you have to mark those three three points you are having that is three members you are having meeting at point b so here you will be having three displacement patterns there now we will see for the values of those that is first value s of 1 1 okay so s11 that is your near joint for your displacement applied point over there that is at corresponding to point b or corresponding to the applied unit displacement over there b will be your near end over there so for that s of 1 1 you will get equal to 4 ei theta b upon l right but that will be cumulative for ba bc and bd so here i will write first for ba plus again 4 ei theta b upon l that will be for cb plus 4 ei theta b upon l that will be for b d over there okay so these three members i mean ba bc and bd okay so if you substitute the value theta b is equal to 1 and length of each member ba cb and cd for ba length is your 4 so this will get as ei right next for cb also your length is again 4 so this will get as 4 by 4 1 ei and then length of bd is also 4 so 4 by 4 you will get equal to 1 so ei plus ei plus ei this i will get equal to 3 times of ei over there right so that will be your value of s of 
वन वन नेक्स्ट आई कैलकुलेट फॉर एस ऑफ टू वन ओवर देर ओके सो फॉर एस ऑफ टू वन करस्पॉन्डिंग टू यूर अप्लाइड यूनिट डिस्प्लेसमेंट सी जॉइंट विल बी योर फार्दर जॉइंट ओवर देर बट दैट इज ओनली फॉर यूर वन मेम्बर सो एस ऑफ टू वन विल बी इक्वल टू टू ई आई थीटा बी अपॉन एल बट दैट विल बी फॉर मेम्बर सी बी सो लेंथ ऑफ यूर सी बी इज फोर थीटा बी इज अगेन वन सो टू बाय फोर दैट विल गिव यू इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव ऑफ ई आई सो आई एम गेटिंग दिस टू कॉर्डिनेट्स ओर एयर और स्टिफनेस कोविशन ओर देर एस ऑफ वन वन एंड एस ऑफ टू वन फ्रॉम थीटा बी इज इक्वल टू वन एप्लीकेशन ओके ना विल प्रोसीड टू यर सेकेंड रोमन सो इन दैट वॉट विल डू वी अप्लाय अप्लाय यूनिट displacement at coordinate 2 keeping other coordinate fixed okay that means you have to apply unit displacement at your second coordinate second coordinate that we have taken for theta c so what you have to do is the you have to apply theta c or d2 is equal to 1 here okay so i'll draw the diagram for stiffness coefficients over here so this is your joint a which is already fixed joint d is also already fixed and what you have to do is the you have to fix joint b also here and you have to free up the joint c okay now next i'll mark my stiffness points over there so this will be your first stiffness coefficient at first and second coordinate okay so this will be s of stiffness you are calculating at your Point C that is at coordinate two. When unit displacement you are going to apply at point C that is S of two two. This will become this will become S of stiffness coefficient you are calculating at point B that is at one point. When unit displacement is applied at C that is nothing but at coordinate two. So it will become S of one two. Okay. Now we will see about the displacement pattern for this. Along joint C you are having a clockwise rotation of S of two two. So it is originating from upward side. So it will follow a upward path which will have this d2 is equal to 1 there okay which will show this displacement pattern in the upward direction right now we'll calculate the values of these two that is s of 1 2 and s of 2 2 s of 2 2 we'll see first corresponding to your unit displacement point s of 2 2 will be your near end moment so that will get as 4 ei theta c upon l okay but that will be for member cb only one member you are having here so that will become only one is equal to theta c is one length is your 4 so 4 by 4 i'll get this as 1 ei right next we'll calculate for s of 1 to value so for s of 1 to corresponding to your unit displacement joint b is your farther joint over there okay so at farther joint you will be having far end moment but that will be only for one member bc why because for ba and for bd these are completely resistant for both that is uh, rotation also and for transfer displacement also so that is why this will get only just 2 ei theta c upon l and that will be only for member bc okay so this will get as 2 into theta c is 1 Divided by length is four, so two by four I'll get this as zero point five of E. Yeah. We'll check whether your S of one two is coming equal to S of two one. S of one two I'm getting point five. S of two one also I'm getting equal to point five. Okay, it is correct order. So your here S matrix is also done. Now D is your basic unknowns. So what we'll do? We'll substitute all the values in our matrix form. So first F matrix, both values I'm having zero is equal to. Next is your ADL matrix, okay. So for ADL matrix, I am getting this as 23.33 and 40 plus EI is common from all your S terms over there. So S of 11, I am getting as 3, okay. S of 12, I am getting as 0.5. S of 21 again 0.5, and S of 22, I am having as 1 EI multiplied by D1 and D2 as your basic unknowns over there. So if I solve for the equations over there, what equation I'll get first? Row multiplied by column. That is 3 times of D1 plus 0.5 times of D2 is equal to. This after going here will become negative and EI will get divided to that. So it will come 
माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री अपॉन ई आई एज ए रिक्वेशन नंबर वन सेम वे एल सी फॉर माई सेकेंड इक्वेशन सो सेकेंड रो मल्टीप्लाइड बाय कॉलम दैट इज पॉइंट फाइव ऑफ डी वन प्लस वन टाइम्स ऑफ डी टू इज इक्वल टू दिस विल गो अगेन नेगेटिव माइनस फोर्टी अपॉन ई आई सो दैट विल बी माई इक्वेशन नंबर टू हियर ओके सो ऑन सॉल्विंग दिस इक्वेशन वन एंड टू आई हैव गॉट डी वन दैट इज नथिंग बट यूर थीटा बी एंड डी टू दैट इज इक्वल टू थीटा सी एज माइनस वन पॉइंट टू वन डिवाइडेड बाई ई आई एंड दिस एज माइनस थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट थ्री नाइन डिवाइडेड बाई ई आई सो दीज आर दू वैल्यूज विच आई हैव गॉट इयर ओके so after getting these values now next part is what that you will be calculating your final moments over there so next we'll be doing that is for slope deflection equations okay so in that first equation that we will be having for mab that is equal to your mfab plus 2 ei अपॉन एल इन टू ब्रैकेट थीटा इज जीरो बिकॉज ऑफ योर फिक्स सपोर्ट जस्ट वॉट विल रिमेन थीटा बी डेल्टा इज ऑल्सो जीरो ओके सो इफ आई सब्सिट्यूट एम एफ ए बी दैट आई हैव गॉट एज माइनस फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री ओके एंड टू अपॉन एल इन टू थीटा बी वैल्यू दैट इज माइनस वन पॉइंट टू वन सो आई हैव गॉट एम एफ एम ए बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट नाइन थ्री किलो न्यूटन मीटर ओके सेम वे इफ आई कैलकुलेट एम बी ए दैट विल बी योर एम एफ बी ए दैट इज फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री ओके प्लस टू ई अपॉन एल सो दैट विल बिकम जीरो पॉइंट फाइव ऑफ ई आई इन टू ब्रैकेट टू टाइम्स ऑफ थीटा बी आई हैव गॉट दिस एज फिफ्टी टू पॉइंट वन टू मीटर ओके नेक्स्ट इज योर एम बी सी नाउ दैट इज यू टू सीच फॉर नेक्स्ट मेंबर सो एम एफ बी सी दैट आई एम गेटिंग माइनस फोर्टी प्लस टू ई अपॉन एल दैट आई गेट अगेन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव ऑफ ई आई इन टू ब्रैकेट थीटा बी प्लस टू टाइम्स ऑफ थीटा सी ओर दर ओके सो इफ यू सब्सिट्यूट वैल्यूज ऑफ थीटा बी एंड थीटा सी अगेन आई हैव गॉट एम बी सी इज इक्वल टू माइनस नाइन जीरो किलो न्यूटन मीटर ओके नेक्स्ट इज योर एम सी बी वैल्यू सो दैट विल बी अगेन एम एफ सी बी दैट इज प्लस फोर्टी प्लस टू ई अपॉन एल दैट इज पॉइंट फाइव ई आई एल गेट इन टू ब्रैकेट नियर एंड रोटेशन दैट विल बी योर नियर एंड रोटेशन हियर दैट विल बी योर थीटा बी प्लस टू टाइम्स ऑफ थीटा सी यूर ओके Sorry, here it will be two times of theta b, and this will be theta c. Okay, so correct this. I have made a mistake over here. You correct this. This I'll get as two times of theta b plus theta c because b will be your near end and c is the far end. Here reverse condition is there. C is your near end and b will be far end. So c is will be multiplied by two and b will be multiplied by one or there. Okay, so if you substitute theta b and theta c again over here, I'm getting this as zero. Okay, next is your m b d. In that MFBD that I have got as plus ten, right? Plus ten I have got that yes, plus ten plus two e upon l that is again I'll get two by four as zero point five e i into bracket two times of theta b plus theta d will be zero because d is your fixed support over here. So if you substitute theta b here, I'll get this as plus eight point seven nine kilo newton meter and the last m db that will be your mfdb minus 10 plus 2 ye upon l as 0.5 ye and into bracket theta b so this i have got as minus 10.605 kilo newton meter okay we'll see the conditions of equilibrium so first condition of equilibrium will be what that will be at joint b that is mba plus bc plus bd shall be zero mba plus bc Plus BD shall be equal to zero. So we'll check this. MB I am getting as minus fifty two point one two. Okay. 
sorry plus 52.12 plus mbcs minus 60.90 and mbd i am getting as plus 8.79 equal to so if i solve this 52.12 plus this 8.79 almost to 60 i'll get बरबर सिक्सटी माइनस सिक्सटी दैट आई गेट ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल टू जीरो सो यर फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज गेटिंग सैटिस्फाइड सेकंड कंडीशन ऑफ इक्लोग्राम विल बैट युअर सेकंड पॉइंट दैट इज एट सी दैट विल वॉट एम सी बी शैल कम इक्वल टू जीरो सो दर एम सी बी शैल कम इक्वल टू जीरो ऑलरेडी वी आर गेटिंग दैट इक्वल टू जीरो इयर सो आर बोथ दी कंडीशन आर गेटिंग सैटिस्फाइड प्रॉपरली ना विल ट्राई टू ड्रॉ दी बी एम डी बाय सुपर पोजिशन इयर Okay, here I'll draw so you can see the moments properly. Sorry, I am having this type of diagram. Okay, this is my A, B, C, and here I am having D over here. My frame has got wrong. You correct this. Okay, so. At A, you are having moment as minus 53.93. So as per your sign convention, this will be drawn on the upward side. That is 53.93. Next, at for B A, I am getting that as 52.12. So again, that will be positive. 52.12. Next, for B C, that I am getting as negative 60. So first, we'll join these by two straight lines over there. Next, for B C, I am getting that as 60. So greater than this value, that is 60.90. Here, I am getting that equal to zero. So we'll join this by a straight line. Okay. Next for BD, I am having plus 8.79. So positive it is. It will be on the outward side, 8.79. And here I am getting negative, that is 10.60. Again, this will be joined by a straight line. Okay. Now. You have to plot the span moments on this. So span moments superimposing on this span moments I'll calculate. That is for AB, BC, and BD. Okay. So for AB that will be UDL WL square by eight, and for BC and BD central point load. So those will be WL by four. So substituting the loads and its length, I have got this as. 80. This I have got again 80, and here I am getting that as 20 kilonewton meter. Okay, so I'll plot this 80. That will follow parabolic path, so 80 will be greater than this 60. In this way, 80. That is your W L square by 8. Same way for B C also I am getting that as 80. Again, maximum at the center. W L by 4 that is equal to 80 and the last for B D I am getting that equal to 20 so that will be also maximum at the center W L by 4 that is equal to again 20 okay just what you have to do is the you have to shade the superimposed part in this. so this gives me complete bmd by superposition your numerical ends here okay so if you have seen the process of analysis the same process you have to follow as that you are you were doing for the beams okay same method here you have to not calculate any shear equilibrium equation in case of stiffness matrix method that is in case of beams non sway frames and sway frames also in sway frames also no need of calculation of uh, shear equilibrium equation there okay because those unknowns we directly get in terms of matrix form and we get directly th uh, their values by solving the equations over there so no need of uh, doing shear equilibrium equations here these numericals are uh, very easy to solve and uh, not time as time consuming compared to your other three uh, methods that is slope deflection moment distribution method and also the flexibility matrix method over there okay so if you are having any query in this you can please comment me and like the video and please share thank you thank you so much